Hey guys, welcome to Man Cave Video Productions. Um, I know it's weird. I don't have the beard anymore. Shaved it off. I'm sorry. Um, what I got for you today though is pretty cool. Uh, I've been noticing a lot of these like cryptic uh, patterns and everything on hats, uh, shirts. It's a it's a really big thing. Uh, like tactical gears painted that color and um, AR-15 rifles. So I decided, you know what? I really like the colors. Uh, I really like the way it looks. So why not do why not do one myself? So what I did is uh, started here. I just took a little piece of paper, just printed this off of this image off of Google. Um, went ahead and took a little uh, exacto knife here and just cut out what I wanted. And uh, gonna go ahead and continue this a little bit more maybe, and then uh, go ahead and paint up my rifle and uh, some of my magazines. And uh, we'll see how it turns out. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do first is uh, I'm gonna tape up some of the stuff. Uh, I don't want my my uh, my butt stock to get painted up uh, just because it's kind of uh, the rubber and stuff on it I don't want it to be a, a real grippy feel to it so I think I might just keep that the same so what I'm gonna do is tape that up um, I'm gonna take off my flip up sights here um, I don't want those to get painted and then uh, tape up uh, some of the holes obviously the magazine well uh, tape up my muzzle flash here and uh, and then from there what I'll do is I'll go ahead and lay down a first coat of paint will just be like the base coat um, I got a few different colors here and then uh, that I'll just go ahead and lay down the base coat for, or the base coat first and then from there we'll go ahead and start with the pattern. All right so now I pretty much got that all taped up. Uh, one suggestion I would have is uh, go ahead and grab some napkins probably or uh, a rag you don't care about and uh, make sure you don't have any gun oil anywhere. Um, I noticed I have a little bit of like gun oil residue um, from the last time I cleaned it. Alright, so what I've decided to do instead of go ahead and tape up the magazine well, I was already going to paint my magazines anyways. I figured I'd just pop one in here and uh, that'll block the inside of the magazine well from getting paint up in there. And then I'll be able to just paint my magazine at the same time. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and set that base coat down. So unfortunately the Cryptek idea kind of didn't work. Um, it just started looking like a bunch of circles, which I did not like. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do here, instead of using the rope, the rope idea wouldn't work either. I started laying it down and it just looked like a bunch of straight lines everywhere. And the point of a camouflage is to break up the straight lines in nature so that way no one can see you. Um, and so that idea was just kind of dumb in the first place. So what I decided to do was just do what a lot of people do, just get some of your vegetation around your local area. Um, I had a weed growing over there and just cut off some branches there. So I'm going to go ahead and lay it down and just spray over and hopefully it'll kind of take shape of, uh, of the leaves and uh, something natural. So after doing a little bit of painting on this, I went ahead and completely changed my direction on this. I decided to just paint over brown. I, I decided the brown coat would be a better uh, base layer than the, than the tan. So I went ahead and did that now, just covered it all up and I'm starting over from scratch basically. All right, so I pretty much finished up here. Um, this is kind of the finished product. I really like it, actually. Um, I don't know if I like it better than I would have liked a Cryptek uh, painted AR, but can always get a dip kit later and actually do the the pattern from the my dip kit. Um, I like it though. It looks pretty good. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video today. Um, hopefully I gave you guys some pointers on uh, what to do, what not to do. Um, I know probably more of uh, what not to do. I made a few mistakes and uh, didn't plan things out. And uh, things I did plan out didn't work out the way I wanted them to. Um, the Cryptek would have been really cool to have on an AR-15 rifle. But um, I'm really happy with the finished product. Um, still, so, uh, hey, here's what it looks like now that everything's all done with the tape and everything off. I'm still really impressed with it. Um, I love the way it looks. I love the separation of the black, um, the black grip here with the black stock and everything else separated from the camo on the rifle itself. Uh, I just think it kind of gives it a, a unique look that you don't really see too often. Um, yeah, so hopefully you guys did like the video and uh, hopefully you guys got a few tips from the video. And uh, next thing I'll probably try to do when it comes to painting something is do one of those uh, dip kits that I've been hearing so much about. I've never used one. I uh, never have done anything actually with it, so the next thing I'll do is uh, probably try to do a dip kit on my Glock 22 here. Um, I just, it's the same from when I bought it, I haven't done anything with it, um, and I've had it quite a while now. But I just want to do something a little different on that, 
And uh, hey, if you guys like what you saw today, subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks for coming out to Man Cave Video Productions, and we'll see you guys next time.